What's going on? Welcome to another edition of Hustlers Kung Fu Live. This one's going to be a little different because I'm going to share a few things that I have going on and some changes that I'm going to make. So I got a list of things that we're going to talk about and things that you may find interesting because it's been a very interesting year to say the least. And I want to make things better. I want to make things a lot better. And part of doing that is going to be able to create a better system. So once again, this live stream was brought to you by Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills, where there's going to be a lot of changes. Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills is going to be the preparatory school for starting your business. This is where most people are going to start. And then B School for Hustlers is going to be the graduation system. This is where I'm going to put the graduation content. Because one of the things that I've been thinking a lot about is how to train people to be really effective, how to train people to get the most out of the training. And, you know, being honest has gotten me a long way because uh, I'm going to share this little jewel with you guys today. This, uh, this happened today. Mr. Cameron, thank you. I've watched your video for years from storage auctions to present day business advice. I bought some of your products in the past and will buy more in the future. I was watching why you need a business to save your life. And I just noticed in the background, the subtle smoothing music during your message delivery. Genius. Thank you for all you provide. And I look forward to my continuing education. Regards, Wesley Deer. I love, love. Thank you, Wesley. I actually sent him a thank you. I love, love getting these kind of messages. I actually want to get way more of these messages, and this is why I'm going to tighten up the ship. This is why I'm getting into a preparatory phase of what we're doing here at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills. So I got a list of things I want to get into. So let me go ahead and get some more people into the room so we can have a little chit chat. Because this is going to be a really different live stream. Um, and also, I've been doing a lot of testing of YouTube. And YouTube is really interesting these days. It's very interesting. It it's kind of cracks me up how YouTube is being. But I also know why. Because Savage Finance is growing pretty rapidly. And also, let me get into here. Let me send this out. All right. So we got a few things locked and loaded. Just get rid of some stuff. Make sure the volume is turned all the way down. And one of the things I want to share with you is recently I had a consult that I had to refund the dude's money because I simply didn't have the time. And that made me realize that my system is seriously, seriously broken. Because, you know, it was like, my bad, I just don't have the time. And, you know, he was a little salty, but he got his money back. And one of the things I want to do, because I'm getting ready, because this is something um, that we, we've done recently. I've recently hired a video editor. That's going to be a process because um, typically I got to shoot the video, I got to upload it. Then I have to approve the video, then send it back for revisions. And in the beginning, it's going to be like hiring an employee because it's going to take more time than me doing it myself. But ultimately, once we work out the system, it's going to be less time. 
So I'm expecting that to take about two weeks. And right now there is um, some videos that are being up in the process. So that's one of the things. I'm also going to hire another assistant. All right. Because the, the, the workflow, there, there's things I want to do that I'm not getting around to it because I am the bottleneck in my business. It's me. And, you know, just what's happening with that console and all these other things, I got to make some big changes because I have grand ambitions and I'm going to need a lot of help to make these things go. Because typically, I only have like three people working with me, and I'm probably going to need six or seven. And uh, I'll need to make some contacts for some more uh, hires because one of the things that I'm going to do is, you know, because like I said, I love getting those messages like I got from Wesley. And it, it is like, you know, I love those messages. They really make my day. And a big part of those messages is it just shows the work that I'm doing, the good work. And I want to do more, but I also want to remain honest and keep my integrity because uh, I finally broke down and did one of those uh, stimulus videos. But I, I came from a very practical and honest place. And the Clearview guy did a similar video. Because, I mean, right now, th this is the craziest stuff. You have a few people who are making more money on unemployment than they were working. That's just a handful. Because you got some people who work their job who can't get their unemployment, period. They can't get it. And this is, is crazy. But one of the things that I want to do is help you guys build more businesses. I want to get more of that action going. So we're going to need a better workflow for me. This is the end of April. So a lot of this stuff's going to kick off in May. In May, this is when you're going to see a lot of changes, a lot of changes. I got rid of Savage Business YouTube channel. Because the, the CPM on this channel is ridiculous. I mean, I can put up a video and get 4,000 views and make 100 bucks. It's ridiculous on this, you know, compared to other people. Because I, I know people, who are, you, I, I have a friend, he literally has to get 200,000 views to make the same money that I get from a video with 4,000 views. So I'm going to work on this channel. I'm revamping it. I'm just uh, doing some more stuff. I'm going to continue to build out Savage Finance. That is going nicely. And I'm going to probably start two more channels. And I'm probably not going to let you guys know about them because I don't think you would be the intended audience for those channels, the things that I want to do, the things I want to set up. But I want to get into more teaching and more training. So... This uh, this is some crazy stuff. Like I, I, I am getting rejected on my Facebook ads left and right because I'm saying one word wrong in the ad, just literally one wrong, one one word wrong. And you know, I got like six ads in review right now. And one of the things that I want to do for the those who are interested in online businesses is open up that process in a group because this is one of the things that I'm thinking about everyone who's bought a product at hustlers Kung Fu or B school for hustlers. I'm going to put in the Facebook group. I only want a group of people who spent some money because the free, you know, free groups, you can get a whole bunch of stuff and invariably you'll get someone in there that wants to promote their own self interest. And I've had that in every group and it's just a pain in the butt. And in the groups where people are paid, I don't get that type of behavior. So what I'm probably going to do is create the Hustler Kung Fu Level Up group, which I already created. I just haven't added a bunch of people. And then I'm going to create the Digital Masterminds because I'm going to tell you there is a certain art 
to running Facebook ads. There's a certain art and I've just committed myself. I'm going to go through it. I'm going to go through the learning curve and then I'm going to start running uh, Google ads as well and LinkedIn ads. So I'm going to start. That's going to be a whole class upon itself. And it's not me. All right. So I'm going to be doing a lot of different things. All right. We're going to keep going. it. So as I build out these ads and as I work on this process, I'm going to share this with the digital folks who want to do, because some people be in both groups. And all this stuff is going to happen in May. And we talked about that. There, there will be more YouTube channels. And this, in, in the beginning of the way of, well, this week, because this was, April doesn't end until Thursday, I believe. Let me see. So we got, I'm going to update how to make money from scratch course. And I'm going to update the YouTube course. So that's going to happen this month. And then we're going to get into a, another little track. But one of the things that I want to do is get more people started with businesses. I know these are some crazy, crazy times. And I can tell you from experience, having a business that you've built during the so-called good times, because right now a lot of people are at ground zero. They, they have a lot of situations. This is just some of the stuff that's going to happen going forward. So I'm getting ready to hire some people. I'm getting ready to expand the training. I'm getting ready to set this up on a whole nother level because you know, the, the, like, let, let's just talk about the video editing. Some of my best performing videos literally took me six to seven hours to edit. That wasn't counting the time to shoot it. And to really do well on YouTube, you're going to have to edit your videos really, really well. And you're going to have to spend a lot of time creating your thumbnail. And, you know, all of that is going to take a level up next month because i figure you know after this first week or two i should have my editors editors set up and my thumbnails banging and i'm rebranding some stuff so let me see what's going on up in here Royston Gibbs, I still haven't heard anything from unemployment. It's serious times. My 20-year-old just got his first unemployment check. He applied the second week of March. Good Lord. Uh, Jay Smith, I'm going to be talking about YouTube ads in the digital uh, component. I'm be talking because I'm getting ready to run a lot of ads. Facebook ads, Google ads, probably LinkedIn ads. And, you know, honestly, I'm kind of kicking myself because my LinkedIn, LinkedIn ads were really converting very well for a minute because uh, for every dollar I spent, I got three back. And it, it was just the way that LinkedIn did their process. <clears throat> I don't have any. Garmin Smith, we're, we're not going to, <laughs> if you bought the storage auction book, that was like, oh my God, that was like six, seven years ago. Come on now. Uh, Trino Transport, I restarted my business during this craziness. And I'm doing better now than it was when it was booming. I mean, they're, 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 this is one of the reasons that I want to redo the training because there's so much opportunity right now. It is crazy how much opportunity, but you got people who are not used to 
hustling. They're not used to going and getting it. They're that's not, you know, they're very lackadaisical. But yes, so congratulations to you, Thorough Transplant. Winston Davis, just want to say thank you. And I've been stagnant for a long time. And I must say, I listen to your videos and your tough talk got me reactivated. Thank you, brother. Good deal, Winston. Good deal. The Bayless Code, that really depends upon your personal situation. If you've got the money to pay off your credit cards and you're not worried about losing your job, do so. But right now, my approach is if you don't know what tomorrow holds, you need to hold on to as much as cash as possible. So that would be my advice in that situation, because uh, a big thing that people because, you know, with the personal finance channel, and that's going to go up about a lot next month is you got to do the personal finance in the good times. Right now, we've got 30-some million people unemployed who don't have a source of income. And there are many of these folks who are not getting unemployment. There are many of folks who, you know, like the gig workers, they were told that they were going to get unemployment. As it stands right now, I don't think any gig workers are getting unemployment anywhere in the country so that's a that's an issue right there Howard Cooper that's YouTube man YouTube YouTube is a, a funny thing and this is one of the reasons that I'm going to transition a lot of content to Savage Finance because my research has shown me that the channels that have been growing are relatively new, three to four years old. And this is something you will see with some of your favorite channels that are old. Someone that have like 800, 900,000 subscribers and they'll put out a video and only get 5,000 views. YouTube is evolving. And if you don't evolve with YouTube, you're gonna stagnate and not grow. And one of the things that, you know, one of the things that helped me keep growing too a little bit is I constantly throw stuff at this channel like today. That was just a test to see what YouTube would do. I upload it and I also shut down Savage Business because I plan on starting two more YouTube channels. And this is the reason for the editor, because, you know, once you come up with a video concept and shoot it, that's not a big issue. But it's the editing. The editing is such a key part to your YouTube channel growing if you're not in a juicy, juicy topic. You know, if you like the stimulus guy, the stimulus check guy, uh, Clearview Tech, he just sits there, he has his papers, and he just like does this, he talks. He doesn't even edit his videos. That topic is so hot right now that people will watch him if he was wearing a a paper bag. I mean, it is just so crazy. But uh, one of the things that we're going to do, because like today I worked on Facebook ads and that is that can be an exhausting process. And tomorrow I'm going to work on YouTube ads because um, that I have more familiarity with it. Royston, thanks you for the $15 super chat. Thorough transport, Uncle G is awesome. Those five checking account systems is the triangle offense of the 93 Bulls with the MJ if done correctly is unbelievable. And th this is one of the things that I keep telling people and a lot of people just don't want to do it because they're getting hung up on a little simple stuff. So congratulations, Doro. Randall, I'm a gig worker just now getting paid unemployment, but it's so difficult because of proving earnings. I actually had to mail those in. Wow, Randall J. Adonis, th this is the thing that people are going to have to do, man. C. 
Simple Kevin, before I could say anything, I just wanted to say how you're looking younger after your heart attack. I don't really believe some of those videos may be re-uploads. This is more motivating than you know. I appreciate that. Um, I'm trying to take care of myself. You know, the weight loss had a lot to do with how I look. The weight loss was a big part of it. It's a huge, huge part of it. But one of the things that, you know, I want to do is build a community of people who are actually going out and doing something. And that's why it's only going to be the people in the Facebook group who bought courses. I don't know how far back I'm going to go. I'm going to start sending out invites probably tomorrow. But one of the things I want to do is have a conversation with people who are actually doing something. Thorough, thorough transport. Thanks for the ten dollars super chat. Mike San, yes, your business can be registered in multiple states. If you start an LLC in one state and you go to another state, then they're going to reg make you register that LLC with that new state as a foreign entity. There's all there's all kinds of ways to do do the game. There's all kinds of ways. So. And, you know, one of the things that I'm so glad that I've dedicated myself to YouTube and that I focused on YouTube is. You know, because like my AdSense earnings have dramatically increased and my YouTube course sales have dramatically increased because I'm focusing on my business and I'm really glad that I did not go over here and do all this other stuff because when you focus on your business you can do some amazing things and then you have a lot of people who are not focused on their business because one of the things I want to do like I said you know I got that um wonderful wonderful message today and i'm really thankful for that and i love getting those messages so i need to do better work and i need to create a better system so i'm going to be making some moves on certain things because like you know i got a budget i got a pretty good budget for my ads so the, the whole problem with Facebook ads is getting them approved and then going through their little system because I have a pretty new account. And this is why I'm going to tomorrow do some Google ads because, you know, the, the whole thing with ads is the preparatory work and getting them set up and working on the targeting. That is such a huge, huge part of your success with Google ads and Facebook ads and Facebook. Like if you someone brand new, they make it really challenging for you to run ads. If you have a huge email list, let's say you have an email list of 30,000 people. You can use that email list to create a lookalike audience and that can explode your business. But if you're just starting from nothing, it can be very easy interesting trying to grow your business uh adonis fuse you should you should support 70 percent of your time to marketing without marketing <clears throat> nothing happens marketing 70 percent of your time i remember when i told people in a book group about like you know writing your book is hard Getting that done was a, a bear. Now, what you're going to have to do to get that book to sell is going to be 10 times as hard because you're going to have to consistently market your book, post your book, talk about your book. And they looked at me like I had four heads. They looked at me like I was crazy because they didn't understand the reality of promotion. And this is one of the things because I'm getting ready to redo a lot of stuff. It's probably going to take me the whole month of May to get it really rocking. 
But I guarantee you for the people who are going to, because like I said, if you can run ads and you can become really good at running ads, that's a lot. That's a skill set and that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money right there. Royston, yeah, they're still up. Primal Fitness, you pay yourself through the holding company. Um, and th this is one of the things because I I'm going to, because essentially um, Savage Finance is going to kind of be a replacement for this channel with the personal finance and other stuff put into it. Because eventually, once I get Savage Finance to where I want it, my intention is to do maybe one or two videos a week for this channel. Because right now, this this is the main marketing beast. And as I push on it, as I do more videos, as I can be really consistent, I make way more money. You know, even with this broken channel. I mean, it, it's funny. What do you think is the highest return on income, writing copy or running Facebook ads? If you know how to write copy, essentially what has the highest, and you didn't even ask this, what has the highest ROA is being creating your own products. You know, if you run a, if you, if you become really proficient at running other people's Facebook ads, you can get two to potentially $10,000 per month from a customer, but that can be really dicey because the, you know, I'm in a group that talks, you know, it's a bunch of uh, freelancers who are running Facebook ads and it's, um, it's interesting. It's really, really interesting. Um, but the highest ROI is creating your own product. And that's going to, because if you create an, a Facebook agency, the clients are your bosses. Whereas, you know, <clears throat> I don't do a lot of affiliate. I don't do any affiliate marketing on this channel. I will be doing affiliate marketing on uh, Savage Finance. It's going to be a totally different ball game over there. But one of the things that I want to really talk about is the process of building businesses. Because, you know, uh, I did, you know, because like the thing is, the, for me, having an editor in this lag time, because I'm used to shooting the video and putting it up when I want to. So this is going to force me to work really hard to get ahead. Because I have three videos with the editor tomorrow. My goal is to shoot a video every day and get it in the queue because I know once we start working it out, I need to have that, that backlog built up because typically, you know, since we're getting to know each other, they're like three to four days for the first few videos. And then after that, like a day. So essentially we're talking about 15 to 16 17 videos per month which may not be enough for my needs so i'm gonna have to talk to him about that because um i plan on doing a lot of content a lot of content a ton of content so one of the things that we're going to talk about in building businesses because you know one of the reasons i want everybody who takes the course to go to the personal finance course is once you start making more money you know what to do with it because so many business owners have no clue none whatsoever none
and it's kind of funny on this topic because you know when you start talking about new vision um putting stuff together creating new things um setting certain things up putting certain things together people don't really get excited about that and this is the necessary work that is required for you to build a business and people don't want to hear that because you know uh, i did the video and i got them editing that video which is now third because we got one video that's going to go and then i'm going to shoot a video tomorrow because a, a big part of success is consistency and a big part of process for profits that's not necessarily true it's just i have a lot of interest i i haven't really posted anything in disruptive mail i think in two weeks so i need to work on that and one of the things that i'm getting ready to do is to reformat everything to reset everything to start doing the things that i need done for me to level up the way that i know that i can because like i said you know it was really upsetting because i just didn't have time and you know a lot of people want want to do a consult and with my workflow it just wasn't happening it really wasn't happening so i actually had to delete delete that link and you know it, it, it's one of those things because i rather do group training than the consults because it's just way more efficient for me versus me getting on the phone with an hour for someone. And honestly, a one-on-one -on -one consult for one hour typically isn't a good deal. You know, just to be honest about it. And this is why I try to avoid them. And this is why I, I got out the whole consulting thing. But uh, one of the things that... Uh, Let's see, what is this? There's a guy who's got a profitable business, but he doesn't. Uh, if he's making profit, I, I would vigorously differ, disagree. He, he knows what he's doing if he's making a profit. Watching your progression is fascinating to me because the setup is where I spend a lot of my own time and I see how important putting these processes together is really worth everything. Oh yeah. Because like, um, the video editor just emailed me and I know that's going to be a struggle because I want to just do a video, edit it and get it out. And now I, I'm going to have to practice a level of patience. I'm going to have to practice a level of practicality because before this thing is over, I'm probably going to have two video editors. So I can crank out 30 videos per month. And that's going to take me a little time to put together that system. And one of the things, you know, and one of the biggest things is how much time and attention I put into this channel to keep the money coming in. Because I'm making more money than I was before. But I'm going to be burning a lot of money because when I'm when I'm really rolling, I'm probably going to be spending 50 to 100 thousand dollars a month on ads. But the ads, because right now I'm not even I mean, I'm spending like 100 bucks a day on some tasks testing and stuff because, you know, the ads have to be profitable for me to spend that kind of money. So I'm getting ready to go through the whole process of doing Google ads and going through the process because Google ads are way easier to get approved than Facebook ads. Facebook ads are just, they are nuts. Mike saying you need to focus on one thing at one time. My my eBay boos booming. Oh yeah, eBay and Amazon are booming, man. You got you know, those things are going crazy right now. People at home and they're getting the stimulus money. Getting the stimulus money. 
So one of the things that I want to do going forward is to create, because like I said, you know, with the whole ad thing, you know, first of all, you got to shoot the ad, you got to edit the ad, then you got to find the target audience, then you got to upload it. And there, 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 there's a whole lot that goes to that, but we're going to work on it. But I hope to be spending 50 to a hundred thousand a month on Facebook google ads because i mean you know it just depends because like facebook is being just nitpicky literally when you because their their review system is automated and you could say one word in the ad and they can disapprove you for that just one word so we're going to start putting together some courses we're going to start to put together some uh ideals on starting these businesses because i'm gonna you know work because I, I really feel that everyone should start in hustlers kung fu because that's what did it for me i started in resale and resale gave me the ability the skill sets and the resources to start an online business i would not use facebook ads for ebay I would not do that because, see, here's the thing with Facebook ads. Facebook ads goes through a learning process. And also, you would need an email list to upload. Let's say you sell red shirts and you have a list of people who bought red shirts from you. You would need that email list to upload to Facebook so Facebook can create a lookalike audience. Because, I mean, Facebook done right can be extremely profitable and extremely powerful however there's a learning curve i would not even mess with facebook ads for ebay i wouldn't i mean that i would think that would be a lot of wasted money you know that toilet paper thing is still bugging me out I, I still don't understand what is going on with the toilet paper. So what we're going to do, because, you know, and I'm also rescheduling myself because normally I just kind of wake up to start working and I stop working just before I go to bed. And that's going to change. I'm going to start having set hours, more breaks and stuff like that. Cons network and education. My dad is a landlord whose renters are not paying because of the virus. He's warning if he should sell it once this pandemic goes away. Depends on if he's tired of being a landlord. I mean, you know, that, that's one of the things because remember when I was talking about getting into real estate and all the advice I got was to go out and get leveraged up. And I'm so glad I avoided that advice. I did not listen. I stuck to my guns. eBay has its own way you can pay for advertising. I did not know you could pay for eBay ads. So, you know, because there, there, there's a lot of things that are going to happen going forward. And, you know, I want it done now, but I got to build a team. I got to do that. Then I have to um, manage the team, manage myself, then manage the workflow. And that's going to be a big, big part of this whole process because there are so many things that goes into starting a business. Like, you know, like I said, I got to go out and find employees with, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be hard to find employees in Georgia with the skill sets I need. That's going to be a challenge and I'm not looking forward to it. I'm just not.
Uh, Jay Smith, that's really hard unless the YouTuber tells you what their CPM is because they're all different. I just know my CPM is really high because uh, I talk about money. And I just know other YouTubers. I, I met a girl who had 1.6 um, million subscribers and she was making $6,000 a month. And I didn't even, I, I, I only had, when I met, I only had 55,000 subscribers and I was making like almost $2,000 a month. And she was just like, why? Are you? It's like, you have so many less subs than I do. And you're making almost half of what I'm making. She was kind of perturbed. I mean, if you can do foreclosure houses, Mr. Charman, have them send in auditions through YouTube. Mike saying, uh, this is one of the things you can do. You can go to an office complex and ask them if they rent their mailboxes. And, if, and it's going to be, it's going to be like three or 400 bucks a year. And you can use that as your business address. Xavier Money Mojo. Celebrities are taking over the social media platforms right now. If the people haven't been trying to get their virtual money, uh, I'm going to disagree with that because Will Smith, The Rock, um, many NFL football stars are all on YouTube, and you got some YouTuber named Benny who's got like 30, 40 million subscribers. So uh, I think that these celebrities saw that these people who were not celebrities had more social media clout than they did. And I think that got them on the platform. Mike Ellie, YouTube has changed. The profits are not the same anymore. I think that depends upon your content. I'm actually making more money now than I did before. I think that really depends upon your content. I think that has a lot to do with what you talk about, who your audience is. I will say if you had programming that was set up for children, you're pretty much screwed. Uh, they have changed all of that and they've cut a lot of those creators income down. It's kind of like the same thing that hit Craigslist and the personal section. It's the same thing. We've got all of these pedophiles. We have all of these creepy people who want to do bad things to children and they're like literally everywhere and they just got rid of a lot of that stuff. Jay Smith, I, I can tell you meditation music does not have a great CPM. X raw. That's my business. That's what I do, man. Hold on. Let me hit you up real quick. Bam. That was for you. Um, you know, this, this is something else too. This is one of the things that, um, is very interesting how a lot of people have a problem with folks creating online courses. And I can understand if you're going to create something that has no value. And I know my courses have value because I got the feedback from the folks who took the courses, who put in the work, who getting results. But there's a lot of people who have a problem. I remember when I first started on YouTube, I had people who would angrily email me, you need to get a real job. You need to stop selling those online courses. You need to stop. I was just sitting there like, who are you talking to? You're not my daddy. You ain't my mommy. Who, who are you? And these people would get indignant. It's like, that's just not a real job. And I was like, excuse me, it pays real money. I was never on black hat world back in the day. <laughs> I never, I never was there. Mike and Lily had to deal with business clients who are funny. What do you mean? Funny, funny is in humorous or funny with the money. 
so we're going to put together this whole process. I'm going to start writing some emails. I'm going to work on that tomorrow. I got a, I got a list. I got a long list of things I got to do. But when I get to the point where I'm spending about a hundred grand a month on Facebook ads, I should be doing a million a month. That's my that's that's what I'm shooting for. That's this is the reason that I'm redoing this. Because I have people who literally watch my every move. And this is what's funny. They're watching, but they're not paying attention. <clears throat> I had some Yardbirds said I had 20 YouTube channels. I have not created YouTube channels. I have not created 20. I think I'm up to about nine. Nine is way different than 20. It's less than half. And this is something else. I'm not afraid to fail. And there are some people, because when you come at me, it's like, like, um, I got these yard birds who were leaving comments on personal, on Savage Finance, personal, on Savage Finance, which is personal finance. They were leaving these, I don't recommend Glenn and Cameron because they had nothing to do with personal finance. Their comments was about my YouTube business. And I'm just sitting there like, you know, I'm, I'm about to show y'all something. <clears throat> All right. This is <clears throat> a, a hater. Oh, the thread is archived. Look, look at never heard of him. Why did you make an account solely to complain about him? <clears throat> what do you guys think of Glendon Cameron? I had some bad experiences with him. I bought one of his courses, which is extremely poorly well done. Uh, <clears throat> Mall, the info was basic common sense. When I went to get a refund back, he would not give me one. Extremely shady, in my opinion. I wonder if anyone else had any experience with this guy. Uh, Rocket, I remember watching some of his videos in the past. They seemed okay. No idea about any courses in his office. Honestly, <clears throat> there's a ton of free info on the internet between blogs and YouTube videos. You should be able to figure out what you need to know. No reason you think you can gain some value insight from online course. The real dojo. I just wanted to give people a heads up in the reselling communities I want. And it's roughly one week. He has nine long videos on his YouTube page. Tells me everything I need to know. Kind of amazing me there's a market for shit like that. It's clearly getting a few people. His info page is literally a list of products he's selling. Uh, here's someone, Glendon is a babbling baffoon, baboon as far as I'm concerned. He's a shill like the rest of the YouTubers selling their personal get rich guides and classes. The only difference is Glendon takes it to the extreme and flaunts about how successful entrepreneur he's constantly. I'm not surprised you got scammed. Definitely a shady crap. And being smarter than you doesn't have to equal being shady. Because a few people um, went after him. Because, you know, th this is the thing. This dude never bought a product from me. He went there. He started this whole thing with flipping was looking to get some tractions. He got 15 comments and a lot of people weren't with him. And I've just shared this with you is because people on the internet are not stupid. There's a lot of people who can read through the craziness. And these guys who were coming on the Savage page, they, they had nothing to do with personal finance. And that was the page is about. They, they had nothing to do with it. And they kept going back to YouTube, YouTube channels, 
and courses and stuff. And I was just sitting there like, why are they so interested in what I'm doing? It may, it, it, it's like, what, what is this thing? Because like, you know, the pest, he actually commented on Savage Finance twice under two different names. And I'm just sitting there like, dude, you're not going to stop me with your little, I mean, here, here's the thing when, when you create an internet business. Uh, let me go ahead and do this. Let me show you guys something. If you create an internet business, All right, so here's me. So you can Google my name. I literally forgot about that. Um, Oh, someone actually hijacked that one, I believe. Let's see. What is this about? See? <laughs> oh, the Gumroad thing is still up. All right, I'm just doing this for a reason. I just went to page five. Oh man, I, I missed this one. This is amazing. You know, th this is every time someone wants to talk trash about me, it's like uh, Fred Sanford. I've been going to storage auctions since 2005 or six. I've been selling on new base since 2003, Craigslist 2006. I've been in the flea market since 1987. Oh, when I saw Glenn's videos on YouTube, I subscribed and recognized him as someone who's been hustling and knows his stuff. I asked for and received his books. I picked up several tidbits. That to me was worth the price of the books. Every time someone tries to start some stuff, somebody comes in there and defends me. It's really interesting. But if you Google me, <clears throat> you don't really find a lot of bad stuff. You just don't find a lot of bad stuff. And that's just because I've been really honest and forthright with what I talk about. And the people who get the books and courses and who actually do the work get results. So this is why when someone like Greg Murray, who I don't know why this dude has such a hard on for me. I really feel that he has little man syndrome. I feel that he is a little, little man. You know what I mean? Like a little, little man. And, you know, I've been through this before. Remember when I was here on YouTube and I had literally 13 dudes who were coming after me because they didn't like the fact that I had a book. I was selling the book. I wasn't being a reseller and I was making way more money than them. They didn't like it.
Let's see. Cody Banks says funny. Nope. I wasn't on Wicked Fire either. I know Agent J. Paul. Th th this this is one of the things because essentially um, you you have these people who are so blatantly personal with their hate that it you know anyone with any common sense would be like um, I remember someone asked this fool why do you have so much personal hate toward this guy. Easier to hate when it's time to give someone the flowers or respect. People won't do it when it's here, but it's gone. The love will appear out of thin air. That's strange. Quinn Jackson, I, I, I believe they are the small man committee. I know Agent J. Poole. Process, process for profits, that's the thing. That's funny, Winston. Pretty much. J. Smith, it really depends. I mean, J. Smith, that's the whole thing because, like, the whole thing with Greg Murray is I feel that he lives in his mother's house. He's not a successful person. He has a small penis. And, you know, I, I started doing some research because it said that a lot of people who are haters have a lot of shortcomings. And they're not usually successful people. But, you know, it ain't going to stop this train. Like I said, I'm going to continue to continue to go on. And if I feel like creating a YouTube channel and it isn't doing what I'm doing, I'll get rid of it. And that, that was the thing that got me. Why were they so focused on what I'm doing? It's like they don't have any business of their own. Because if they were business people, if they were productive, if they had their thing going on, how would they have all this time to know what I was doing? And I will be doing a lot more. A lot more. Pretty much, Ben. I mean, it, it, it was funny because I was just sitting there because I found that today and I just got rid, I got rid of the recommendation section. And I'll bring it back when the channel is grown because these folks, I, I can tell they don't have any YouTube channels. And I remember I said something about me, Kevin, and this guy went off on me. And this, this is the thing that gets me is when they start lying because he says, I Googled you and I found that you had some failed LLCs. And I was like, I don't have any failed LLCs. What are you talking about? Or this person was mentioning something about Amazon stock and Walmart stock. And I never talked about stock. It's one thing if you're a hater. It's another thing if you are a hater and you're going to tell lies. That right there is the craziest thing. D. Hackers, I think you remind them of their daddy that left their crazy money, remarried, and is living a good life. It's easier for them to focus on you than actually going out and there and doing. Could be. Cody Blanks, that's funny. C. 
Sarah Holly, there's a quote that reads, some people hate you because of the way others love you. I do remember that drove a lot of those haters back in the day crazy when I was getting all the love in the YouTube comments. That I mean, they could not stand that. I know, Agent J. Paul. I'm going to put that in the community section, Sierra. That's a deep quote. I like that. I like that a lot. Process for profits. I don't have any failed LLCs. I don't have a, I don't have any of them. All my business failures happened before I got into the LLC game. Even before I knew about the LLC game. I've got a few LLCs that have been dissolved, but I just shut down the business like the storage auction stuff. And a lot of those LLCs, which are still active, were in my partner's name. And, you know, they're just around. So I'm putting that on the personal page. All right, so that's all I got for you guys. Um, you know, expect some more updates and stuff to come. And I will see you guys later.